Hi guys, I'm Terry Bailey and I'm on a journey to learn about everything real estate. Join us in this video while we dive into our next topic. Great guys, I'm excited about this video. I'm gonna be talking about the rental market here in Utah County and how it's changing as well. I know you guys are probably hearing a lot about, hey, you know, the housing market in Utah is insane. It's so hard to buy a house, you know, very, very difficult, it's moving quickly. And I have lots of videos where we talk about that, how to adjust, how to make it work. But today we're gonna to be talking about the rental market. We're gonna start it off with a story. The story is I have a unit or a triplex that the couple who's there is moving out of state. We had a vacancy, we needed to get it filled up. This unit is three bed, two bath, townhome style unit in Provo, only about a thousand square feet. It's not a very big unit. It is in a pretty nice area, built 2004. Like, anyway, it's, it's, it's a good unit. I felt like the market's rent for it was probably about $1,300. I always like to be about $50, $50 below market, which in this case, is, as the story unfolds, I think we probably could have been a bit higher. I'm still happy where, where we're at, good cash flow, it still makes sense. Bottom line, we took, we took and listed the ad on Friday, which is shorter notice than I would have liked. Typically, I like to put them up a week before, do an open house, have a lot of buildup. But anyway, I, I was just slacking off and I said, hey, let's try to get it done quick. And lo and behold, we had probably about 80, 85 people message us, about 25 people come through the open house and about 15 people fill out an application. Of those 15, obviously we can only rent to one, but honestly, out of those 15, there was probably, you know, four or five that I would have rented to no problem. So when folks tell me, hey, you know, Terry, I'm just gonna wait on the sidelines until this market busts, first off, watch some of our other videos where we talk about what's going on in the market and why we're not going to see it bust. On the other side is too, you know, once your rental contract becomes month to month, most rental contracts, as long as the landlord gives you 30 days, he can hike that up as high as he wants. So the rental game in the rental market, although maybe not accelerating as fast as the purchasing market, is also accelerating and rents continue to go up. I remember, you know, four years ago when I was coming and being, you know, looking for housing for a two bed, one bath, you know, married housing. My wife and I were recently married. You know, average for that was like 750, maybe 800 for like a pretty nice two bed, one bath. That's gone up to about a thousand, you know? You know, like $200, not that much, but going from 800 to 2000, that's still a 25% increase. So that's very, very rapid. And that's just in four years. So for all my beloved friends out there who wanna just continue to rent forever, that's fine. Just keep in mind that as you continue to go on that, you have less control of what happens, you have less control of your monthly payment, and that's gonna to continue to accelerate. Once you do buy something, you have a 30-year fixed rate, your principal and interest can't go up. The only thing that's gonna go up on you is potentially utilities, you know, maybe insurance and taxes. But short of that, your monthly payment is locked in and you're good to go. If that's your plan, I may rethink it and I may say, hey, you know, take a look at what's going on. Here's the data on the rental side. But bottom line, rentals are going up. Also for my investors out there, you know, that's really good news for you. It just means you can get more out of out of your properties and they're having a better yield. For you know, I feel like I need to just mention this real quick for the folks who are like, man, I'm just so mad that everyone's raising rents. You know, you can be as mad as you want, but bottom line is if you don't own it, you don't have the control. So decide what side of it you want to be on and then take that moving forward. Hope this video was beneficial for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. You can reach us, you know, Facebook, Instagram, reach out to us directly on our YouTube channel. Whatever it is, we're here to help and we just want to make sure that you know, the listeners and everyone who we're a part of is making good decisions and moving your, your wealth forward. Thanks so much.